Okay, so this video is about the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro, the big boy expensive version, which I feel is kind of like a placeholder for next year's models. That is a very camera focused product and I'll do a separate video for that another day. I wanna talk about the $699 iPhone 11. I think this is the most interesting product that Apple has launched in the past two, three years. So, it's not the specs. The specs are super boring. It's the same phone as the previous generation. I would consider it to be a refreshed model with just a second camera, but the price tag of $699 is very interesting because at that price point, they are literally leaving billions of dollars on the table. So here's the thing. We recently saw the sales figures of the top 10 smartphone models sold around the world in the first half of 2019. So this chart has just from top to bottom, the best-selling phone to the 10th best-selling phone. And at the top of that list is the iPhone XR. That is a phone that sold for $749 US, so basically 750. But if that phone had sold for $1 less, like just $1 cheaper for the customer to buy, Apple would have made $26.9 million less money. This year, the iPhone 11 is selling for $699. That's $50 cheaper than the previous year. And if you take $50 and multiply it by that sales figure, that's over 1.3 billion US dollars that Apple is willing to leave on the table. Now, obviously that number is gonna be affected by carrier subsidies, but point being, it's a lot of money. It's, and that's only six months of sales figures. Like if you go for the course of the year, it's like, who knows how much that is. Point being, Apple willingly, knowingly lowered the price on their phone and just left that money on the table. And even though Apple is a super rich company, a billion dollars is still a lot of money for them, and especially in a market where a percentage gained here, a percentage lost here is a big deal. Like people pay attention to that stuff and it affects Apple's stock price. Leaving a billion dollars out there is a big business decision. And what I think we're seeing here is two factors coming into play. Number one, I think that Apple is finally feeling market pressure. This is a company, like if you think about what Apple has been doing over the years, when other companies were releasing like $300 flagship killers, Apple's like, boom, here's my $1,000 iPhone 10. That's Apple. They rarely fold to market pressure, but maybe it was all the cheaper Samsung phones out there. Maybe it's like the cheap phones from Xiaomi or maybe, I don't know, OnePlus or Pixel's 3A devices finally got under the skin. Doesn't matter what happened, but I think that market pressure finally got into Apple's head and they lowered the price because they felt like they had to. But the second more important reason why I think they lowered the price on this phone is because Apple's in a different phase right now. They are no longer as dependent on their iPhone revenue to stay profitable. They don't need to make a lot of money off of their phones because their services revenue is just growing so rapidly. It's actually quite surprising to analysts. We've got Apple Music, Apple Games, Apple News, Apple TV, like iCloud storage. There are a ton of services that Apple is selling to people. And what is the best way to snowball the revenue from those services, cheaper iPhones. So sure, you lose a billion dollars in iPhone revenue, but as you capture a bigger audience with this cheaper phone, you just make that money back, maybe double, triple that with services. And now when a consumer is looking at that mid-range market, I guess mid-range is relative, but if you look at that $700 price point, you now have a very compelling product from Apple with the iPhone 11. Now, if that price tag is still uncomfortable, if that $700 price tag feels a little steep, the iPhone XR from the previous year is $600. I think that's actually a pretty good value for what it is. I was actually one of the very few people last year that didn't rip on the XR, but I actually think it's a pretty solid experience for the money, and it's just even better of a value this year. But that's basically what this video is about. I'm, I'm very excited to see how Apple takes this. Like what's their next step? They have these cheaper phones. Obviously their whole product line isn't super cheap, but the fact that they lowered this one by this much, it means something, it's significant. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.